Hi everyone! Today we're gonna create a real nice Burberry check or tartan as you wanna call it. So as a first thing we open a new file that has to be 10 cm per 10 cm, 150 resolution, uh, RGB white color is fine. There we go, and then you wanna mark the view, show, grid, just to help yourself drawing the pattern. As a first thing, we're gonna pick a nice uh, beige color, which is the typical uh, background for the Barbary check, like this one. And we wanna fill the background with this beige. Then we wanna uh, create a new layer. And we wanna pick our uh, rectangular selection tool. And we wanna pick fixed size over here and define a value of 0.7 per 10 over here and as we click on our file we have a nice uh, selection that has exactly those values and we want to pick here the default colors and um, fill the selection with black um, the second thing we want to do is we want to pick the selection tool again and we want to slide the selection all the way to the left and as you can see it stays the same we want to invert the default colors and we want to have the white as a foreground color and we want to fill it and then once again we want to slide the selection all the way to the left we want to even help ourselves with the arrows on the keyboard uh, just to uh, perfectly position uh, the selection and then we want to fill it uh, with black here. All right, then Command D for deselecting. We want to place this uh, shape. You see where the five number is, which is right in the middle of our uh, canvas. And then we want to slide two millimeters on the left, which is here. So two millimeters on the left. Now the thing that we want to do is we want to lower the fill around uh, say 60-65% as you like and then we want to duplicate this layer and then slide it all the way to the right and it has to be like 2 millimeters apart from the 5 number so they are basically uh, at the same distance and now we want to select them both and command E merge them and we want to duplicate this layer and then pick edit transform 90 and there we go and we want to once again lower a little bit more the opacity just to accentuate this overlapping effect of the colors. Now we want to create a new layer, pick our selection tool and define a fixed size of 0.3, 10 centimeters, it's fine. And we want to select over here, pull the selection all the way to the left and pick a nice dark red color and just fill in the selection with the bucket and we want to with the selection tool pick over here we want to slide the selection all the way to the right and we want to fill it with the right color we created once again now we want to lower the fill up to say 60% once again and we want to duplicate this layer I want to deselect Command D and edit transform 90 degree and there we go. Here is our pattern. Now we want to select all those layers and we want to Command E merge them and we want to pick the background colors, duplicate it. go to effects, pattern overlay and pick that nice line uh, in a multiply mode 
and we can pick the nice line that we created in the previous tutorial and scale it up or down just to define the texture of our pattern. We want to exaggerate a little bit the scale just to make the texture visible or in the small scale of our croquis it would then be lost. So I guess around 200% it's fine to give it a little bit of visibility. Okay. Now we select all, edit, define pattern, rename it and we are good to go. We could be using our pattern in a very flat way as you can see but instead we can use it in a very realistic way so if you want to know how to do it check my next tutorial bye